Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Um, I've been having a play and as you know it's Tuesday, my husband's out fishing and I've been playing. Oh look girls, been and had my nails done. Love them, love them, love them, love them. Just a matter of getting used to them now. <laughs> but I've had a play today and we've got this new bundle and it's coming out in on the 1st of September and it's called ready for Christmas. Let me just grab it and show you. I haven't used any of the stamps out of it, but it comes with uh, all the thinlets, the tree, the sprigs, the, uh, more of these, the banners to the dog, the table, the pictures. Um, but let me grab my bundle. It's too big to keep inside, so it doesn't fit. So I keep it just in its wallet with all the shapes. And I've just had a play with the Christmas tree. And I think this card I've created is absolutely stunning. Well, this is the set. And you can buy the two together in September and save 10%. As you can tell, I haven't played with this yet. It's still brand new. And isn't that beautiful, the tree? So I'm going to show you what I've created. I hope you like it. I think it's amazing. But look, the thinlet cuts the tree out and also gives you extra thinlets to cut out these beautiful sprigs and they stand up off your page. So, and then the stars and rhinestones, obviously we sell the rhinestones. The stars are from an old uh, confetti punch with the stars on. And I just cut them out of the paper, the silver foil that's underneath and you can't tell. Uh, so I'll show you that when we get, when we make this card in a moment. But, uh, how beautiful. Lovely little bow with our gorgeous ribbon. Uh, the one eighth inch silver trimmed ribbon. Absolutely beautiful. I've heat embossed my uh, Merry Christmas. Um, and I did use my stamper magic, believe it or not. But, and it's, I've got it as straight as I could possibly get it. The little star on the top is from our metallic shapes and there's I've used the little stars here and inside I've used uh oh what fun and the tiny little sprig for that just to decorate the inside a little bit but how beautiful is this oh my god and then I went over all the branches with Wink Stella I don't know if you can see the shine but I can and it's absolutely gorgeous so let's get going we're going to make this card you are going to need uh, your basic card piece, which is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, score at four and eight. And we're just going to fold that over and burnish our score line. There we go. Beautiful. Um, you've got a piece of your silver foil, which is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. Let me just move my embossing powder. We'll need this in a moment. Well, later. Uh, I've forgotten to cut my wisp of white out. So I've got a piece here. And this needs to... I'm just going to chop myself about six inches. No, five and seven eighths. Off there. Because this I'm going to cut the tree out and the, and the branches. And then this one needs to be three and a half by four and a half. And this is what we're going to pop our tree on over the foil. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely stunning. So there's your card pieces. Um, that's all you need. And I'm going to go now. I'm just going to pop on pause for two seconds and I'm going to fetch over my big shot. Um, and then we'll, I'll show you how to cut out the pieces and how quickly they work. And they're fantastic. So two seconds. Hi, I'm back. Um, I fetched in the big shot. I always, um, when I'm cutting these little details out, because they're so intricate, uh, I, I find it quite tough for my back to actually cut through with the precision base plate so I add the thin really thin piece of card it's nothing from stamping up it's just cheap uh, 
It's slightly thicker than a photocopying paper. It's just a thin card. So here's my piece of cardstock. And I'm going to pop this on top. I know it's hard to see because it's white on white. But I'm laying my tree on there. And I'm also layering these sprigs right next to. You can get all your pieces out of this. Um, I just saw a tiny little piece of paper. Or I haven't. Um, and I'm just going to lay them really close to the tree. And these two little extras give you some more oomph at the bottom of your tree. So I'm just going to stick them on randomly. It doesn't matter about gluing them down. So, and I'm going to push this through the big shot. And I'm going to go right through and then I'm going to go back. And I'm just going to do this twice. And again, and I'm sorry if the camera rocks. I do apologise. So, let me take this off now. My, it's a bit sticky from the glue off the back because they're quite, they're, well, they're very new. Um, so I'm going to use my pokey tool because I'm not used to my nails yet. <laughs> so there's our beautiful Christmas tree. And I'll show you now. I just pick this up. Oh, look, it cut me two out. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> That's from the bottom piece. So there's our top layer. And now if I just peel this, it even pulls my little bits out from the top. But these sprigs fit on these branches perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. See that? And it starts from the top. And they work all the way down on this tree. Absolutely beautifully. And then when we get to the bottom, those tiny little sprigs, we can just fill these in at the bottom or anywhere where you feel there's a gap. And you can add as much of it as you like. Aren't they just the sweetest little things? And I'm lucky enough that it, because my card is nice and thin, it has cut the other one out for me and I can just poke through and get the dots. I'll do that in a moment. Um, I think I may need one more sprig. So I'm going to fetch my card back. Turn this around. Because it's only scrap, it's not going to waste. And I'm going to actually cut two more of these out. And then we can start making our card, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love white on white with that lovely little silver background. Absolutely stunning. So there goes. I just peel my paper away. There's my image. And there's my other image. And I just basically lift this off. There's my card, which you can see is cut out. And I just lift these off and look, I haven't even got to worry about my brush. It looks like I've got two here together, but I'm going to take the top one. Oh, there's a couple of little bits, which is so easy to poke out and push back in. <laughs> so there's my pieces. I'm just going to pop this out the way. And then we can get going on our cart. Oh, always a weight on that thing. <laughs> so, in with our tree. I think it's adorable. And I end, while uh, it was over there, I did cut a few out. So, I got the four I just cut out with you and the two little ones. And I cut a few more while I was there as well. You don't really want to sit and watch me uh, um, cut things out. Oh, <laughs> so I'm taking my fine tip glue pen. She's got a little bit of glue on the end for some reason. 
And what I do, I'm just going to add just to the tops of these. And I'm going to start layering them on. Because I want my, my branches to stick out. It's not going into place very well. Gorgeous. And then you tuck from underneath and then you build up those branches absolutely beautifully. You could all, always lay them flat and glue them all the way down if you wanted. But I just, and they fit in these gaps perfectly. So that one, I should layer, I should have layered them. I'm going to layer them from the bottom first and work my way up. That way I don't ruin anything. You can see where they lay and go and they fit into these branch holes perfectly. Let's push that sprig over a little bit and then pop that into place. In fact, this one, I'm going to add a little more, more. I should have my uh, silicone mat down really, but that one is going there over the top of this one. They just line up perfectly. Look how they stand up off the off the tree. And you can see where each of these branches falls and there's slots. Are they so clever at stamping up? Look, that fits there perfectly. I should have, like I say, work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top. And it does, it is a bit of a pain because this fine tip glue pen doesn't want to dry as quick as our Tombow. So that's still on there. So that's our last piece at the bottom here. And then we can start working our way up. So much easier again if you do it the right way around. <laughs> oh. And you've all been absolutely wonderful uh, this month. I have gained um, 370 odd subscribers, which is amazing. And you've all left me some wonderful comments, which I adore. Oh, I want to tell you what would be, hey, what would be quicker than this is popping my needle back in there. I'm getting good at this, girls. <laughs> And I'm just going to fetch my Tombow in because now I'm doing it the right way. It will stick all that fine tip gluey pen in. <laughs> just randomly pop these down. And just push down. Don't worry about the bottom, they're sticking up like sprigs are supposed to. We've got one more, and it's going, I'm just going to push this glue right up there to the tip. See how it fits on there perfectly? Isn't that wonderful? Look at the way the branches fall. <gasps> Oh, I don't even think I need that. We can keep adding. You, the, the beauty of this is you can just add more and more and more if you want to. The thicker, the better. Should I add one more? No, I'm not going to spoil it. I think that's perfect. I'm going to save those for my other Christmas tree that got cut out. <laughs> for my other bits, so I can make another one. Isn't that perfect? I'm going to line that up. That is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to set this to one side to dry for a moment. I'm going to pop my bits back over there because I can pop them back in my wallet later. And now this is, I'm going to lay our tree on the card later. Isn't that perfect? And it's going to sit right down there. Oh, you can see what's coming now. So that's our top piece of card. I'm going to fetch in my confetti punch. 
and I've got a little tub with loads of confetti in. So I'm going to push this all the way in and make sure it's roughly the same either side. So I'm going to do this this way so I can see. And with having a quarter inch border, you won't see the stars at all when you layer this perfectly on there. Look at that. The stars are hidden at the back, so you're not wasting any silver paper. Again, same amount of distance either side. I'll press down. Jesus, that was stiff. I know I don't need any more, but because I don't want to waste any of this gorgeous silver foil, I can save these stars for another project. So I'm going to get maximum use out of this piece of foil. And you know, it's not going to take anything away from my paper. Isn't that amazing? They're all hidden there. And I've got all these beauties. And I can decorate my tree with them. And then any leftovers. I find these beautiful little uh, Nutella jars. They come with lids and they're ideal to keep little bits in perfect for shaker cards uh if you want a multicolored one or you can have one with just all silver in and then another one with gold in but it's perfect so i am gonna just check the time because i think i'm uh oh no we're fine and now I'm going to add, I'm going to add fast fuse to my white card because we've taken all them stars out of there. I don't want my, uh, my card to get unstuck. Oops, I'm sticking it to my sign instead. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this to one side. And I'm going to get this on as straight as possible. Perfect. Look at that. You can't see that I've taken all these beautiful stars off because they're now hidden. And you're not really going to see it through your paper anyway. So now I can attach my Christmas tree. You could add this with dimensionals if you wanted. Uh, because of the branches. And for postage reasons, I'm just going to lay this flat. But what I'm going to do, oh my god, it's absolutely gorgeous. Can I get, I get too excited. I'm going to do my card, jump in the tub, and then I think of something else to do for later. As you know, I do try and get as many cards in as possible on the days my husband fishes. Now, perfect. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my lovely little pokey tool. It's so easy to round back up. Just tap. Ooh, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to fetch my little gem in with my Christmas star. And I'm just going to pop that right at the top of my tree. Perfect. Ooh, isn't that lovely? And you can use some of these on here if you want to as well, but we're going to be using these. So, again, coming back with my fine tip glue pan. My tool as a pokey tool. I'm going to make sure the end is clean. So I'm going to filter through now with my lovely stars. And I need to pick them up silver side up. I'm going to blob my stars. And I'm just going to randomly place them with my pokey tool. And I'm going to add some large ones and some small ones. Of 
forward, yes. I tend to have the larger ones towards the bottom. And then I'm going to work our way up to the top of the tree and make them slightly smaller. Put one more here. Love this tool. Loving it. My Christmas tree is all silver. I had all gold the other year, but it was a bit too yellow when you walked in, so... And we changed the lounge and decorated it a couple of years back to silver. Maybe even... I've got grey gray, uh, wooden floors. Beautiful. Grey sparkly wallpaper. I'm just going to add some slightly smaller ones now as we go up to the top. My leather sofa is white. <laughs> Thank God. For... I got the grandkids on the weekend, but they're so respectful. They come in the kitchen to have a drink and they, they eat their food on trays. Um, because I haven't got a table. My husband knocked right through when we first bought the house. So I don't have a dining room anymore. I've got a bottom half of my kitchen, which is now my craft room. Um... But I don't have space for table and chairs. I never did. It would only fit <laughs> probably two people on it. Oops. Isn't that wonderful? I'm just going to keep adding little stars now. Come back to a couple of slightly bigger ones for the bottom. This bind tip glue is fabulous for this part, sort of work. Let's press it down. I got one that flattens as well. Can squash them into place. Isn't that wonderful? Sorry, you're having to watch me uh, glue all these things up. Right, I think that's enough of the stars now. Uh, I'm going to pop my lid back on. I'm going to clean the nozzle first. Have you all been watching Game of Thrones? <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe it's over till next year. I, oh, they only gave us seven episodes this time. I love Game of Thrones. <laughs> and I think it's unfair. To make a, you should make a series and run it forever. Not just seven episodes and then wait a year. How gripping is that? So I'm going to pop these in my little jar, save them for another project, oh, the one that got away. <laughs> so now I'm going to fetch, put my pokey tool away, before I stab myself. <laughs> I have little bits everywhere. And I'm just going to fetch in some rhinestones. And again, I'm just going to randomly add these until I think it looks plenty. And these can be my little baubles. Not cute. They're like in the bling on my thumbs. Well, if I get short, I can pinch them. <laughs> I, I uh, last time I had my nails done like this was when I got married to my husband eleven years ago. This December, uh, this October, and uh, I haven't had them done since. <laughs> so I thought I'd treat myself. Well, no, he thought he would treat me. In that kind. I've never been a girly girl. I do like to put a bit of makeup on now and then, but I have to really be in the mood these days. So I'm going to add a couple just slightly under as well so they poke through as the card is sticking up from the bottom. And then you can still see them. Oh, but I think that looks absolutely beautiful. Can I see a space for any more? One more. I'm going to pop that right there. I think that's perfect. So, before we attach this to our card as well, which is going right here, 
I'm going to stamp my milk. Oh, crumbs. Get a bit wild with the old finger flick in there. So I'm going to um, use my Versa mark and my embossing body, and I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas. So because we don't need it all over the place, I just need it down the bottom here. And I'm going to. Where's my stamp a magic gun? There's my jig. <laughs> Where's my stampy thing? Oh, there it is. Oh, it was hiding. Have I already stamped this in um, basic black? In the tuxedo black. So I'm going to level that up on a line there. I'm going to try it to my best of my ability to keep this as straight as possible. I think that looks quite straight. I'm going to add my jig. Open my Versa mark. And stamp my Merry Christmas in Versa mark. And remove. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. Let's get this lid on. Bring back my silver. Oh, I can just see. There. See what I mean? Uh, I don't have a paintbrush, see. An old dry one, anyway. Pop that out of the way before I knock it over. Oh, that looks beautifully straight to me now. I love it. Right, and I'm sorry, I'm going to put you on pause while I heat set this because I don't want my video to run out and we're getting really close. So there we go, I've heat set that and I'm very happy with the results. Oh my God, absolutely beautiful. Stunning. So I'm going to come back in now with my tree and I'm going to add some wiggle space. I'm going to add my Tombow because I don't want to... I don't want to pop this on any willy-nilly now. I want it to sit straight as possible. So I've got a little tiny bit of wiggle space. Sorry for pausing, but you know, I can only record for now. Um, 33 minutes. I'm getting my new phone next month. Oh, my husband's spoiled me rotten. Because he knows it's my 50th in October. He has bought me, pre-ordered the new Samsung Galaxy Note 8. <gasps> oh my God, for me, for my birthday. He's just the most bestie thing. Oh wow, look, look at this. Right, we're going to be adding our Winker Stella now. So I just went over. All the branches doesn't matter if you get it on the stars they'll sparkle as well I'm loving this and if the video does run out and I don't mean for it to run out um, I'm gonna add my silver bow so I'm gonna quickly add as this as quickly as I can <laughs> and fetch in my lovely little bow maker and I need about, well I only need six but this time I'll have a bit of, I didn't have enough space to uh, tie it off because I didn't leave myself enough. I'm getting good at this bow making, look at this, it's just my nails now, I've got to get used to my nails. So, swap hands, make a loop, pop 
pop it through. Wiggle it around, making sure your tie is up perfectly straight and that your bow is in the center. Pull it tight. Oh my God, I've done that in record time. <laughs> and I'm gonna pull these down here. OMG, I'm gonna add it before I cut my tails off. That way I know where I need to put my tail. I'm just gonna roll this because it's a tiny little little bow. I'm just gonna add this to the back. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna fetch my card in and this is just gonna go right here on the bottom of the silver in the centre of the tree. <gasps> I'm loving this. And then I'm just gonna snip. And snip. <gasps> OMG, I've done it again. It's beautiful. Oh my God, that's so nice. Right, quickly now, I'm just, I've got two more the images that I want to stamp just to decorate the inside of my card. I would appreciate some thumbs ups and shares and subscribers. That would be amazing. I'm trying to get to, well, I want as many as possible, but I'm trying to get to 3,000. I'd love to do it before my birthday, which is October the 30th. So let's see if we can get me to 3,000 subscribers for my 50th birthday. I'd say 5,000, but I'm not that good. <laughs> so there's my Oh What Fun. A lovely little decoration as well. There's the one we've done together, my darlings. And here's the one I did. I think this one's turned out better, actually. I love, actually love the two of them, but the one I've just done now with you is so much more detail. Absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you for watching, and we've done it just in time. And until later, you take care now, and God bless you all. Um, bye for now. Bye.